and welcome to Coffee at Calmore. My name is Annalisa Quinn and I am the very proud executive director of Calmore Clinic. I am really sorry that today we are not having our big open house event on site, but next year I'm pretty sure we will. I am greeting you today here in the foyer of Calmer Clinic. The reason is I just wanted to show you that we still have in place an infectious disease control policy. So anyone on a clinic day that comes here will have to go through this process. Whether you're a patient, staff, board member, donor, everybody will have their temperature taken here and they will do a screening uh, uh, form and we wipe everything down and off they go. Today we don't have clinic uh, but we do have some people inside that are looking forward to greeting you but before we go inside I want you to come outside and meet Pastor Steve Moore from First Christian Church which is where we are and where we're hosted as a clinic. Here's to you Steve. Hi, I'm Steve Moore, the pastor here at First Christian Church of Falls Church, and it is our privilege to be able to host and house the Comor Clinic, our community partner in ministry providing free health care to those in the Comor neighborhood and Bailey's Crossroads neighborhoods. We have been partnered here since the spring of 2019, and we celebrate today this gift of partnership this gift of medical care for our community. And it is my privilege now to introduce Reverend Andrew Merrow, the chair of the Colmore Board. Thank you, Steve. I'm Andrew Merrow. I have the privilege of chairing the board of the Colmore Clinic. And this is an especially important occasion because we're celebrating the life of one of the really signal people in the life of the clinic, uh, Dr. John Damascus who died this year, but lived a life so full and giving, and the clinic was one of the real beneficiaries of his life. As you all know, this clinic was founded as an interfaith uh, community of people who are gonna serve for the common good. And so I'm flanked here by three of my colleagues on the board, and we'll offer a prayer to get things started. And to kick us off will be Alam Naeem Beg from Darohesha, and um, we'll offer a prayer and thanksgiving to God. Assalamu alaikum. I greet you all with the greetings of peace. My name is Naeem Beg. I am Imam and Director at Dar Hijra Islamic Center. Dar Hijra Islamic Center was among the founders of Kalmar Clinic. And our community appreciates it and benefits from this, from this clinic. We pray to God Almighty for our board members, for our team, for the, for the leadership, and for the services that they provide to the community. And we ask God Almighty that may He gives us strength and may He continues to bless us in serving the humanity. And thank you very much. I'm Father Christopher Blackos, and I have an honor to be Father John Damascus' priest. So for 20 years we worked together and served here. How appropriate we're in this clinic, in the examining room. Uh, for his memory, be blessed and eternal. And as we ask our Lord uh, to bless his soul, and may indeed the works of his hands be pleasing to God, and our works be pleasing to him also. Hi, I'm Greg Lohr, pastor for Missions Columbia Church. Columbia is grateful to be a partner with Comar Clinic for over a decade now, and uh, great to be with you today. I offer these words in a prayer. O heavenly King, O comforter, O spirit of truth, who is in all places and fills all things, O treasury of good things and giver of life, look upon us with favor. O master who loves all humankind, unto you we commit our whole lives, our hopes, and our dreams. O God, who can heal all diseases, we ask for your healing of every malady and infirmity. Through the miracles of modern medicine, by the hands of caring providers, by the practice of wise measures, in your good time and way. Continue to bless this fine clinic, its staff and volunteers, its supporters and the recipients of its service, as we provide care for all in the light you give to us, for the good of your world, to your honor and glory. Amen. Amen. And here's to Annalisa Quinn, our Executive Director. 
Thank you, Andrew, and all our faith leaders for giving us so much to be thankful for and sharing that with the community. We have been through so much this last year and a half. We went from full on-site services to full telehealth services, and now we're back into a hybrid model where we have most of our services on-site, but we also have some telehealth services as well. Today, we have provider services, we have counseling, we have medication pickup, we have uh, diabetes education, nutrition education, and we have a new service called social, Medical Social Services, which is a very exciting new venture for us and something that's very much needed by our patients. Overseeing all of this operational work is our new Clinical Director Myrna Sala. Myrna, hi! It's so good to see you and meet you. Can you tell us a little bit about what it is that drew you to Comer Clinic? Absolutely. Um, what drew me to Comer Clinic is the fact that it serves a mission and a purpose here in the community um, to people who are in need of these services. Um, just like Annalisa said, we provide all these services to our patients who are vulnerable, who would otherwise face challenges having access to these services and we are expanding our operations um, as much as we can with the diabetes education program we're providing them prescriptions you know with a low cost um, you know and we're looking into other services that we can offer them so that they we can eliminate the barriers they have to health care yes absolutely and so welcome we're so glad you're here happy to be here <laughs> so to tell you a little bit more about some of the new projects that we do have, I'm going to turn you over to Dr. Snyderman. Marna, cheers. Cheers. Hi, I'm Charles Snyderman, Volunteer Medical Director, and I'm pleased to report on three new projects which we're undertaking to assist our practitioners in providing quality care to our patients. The MAVEN Project, Medical Alumni Volunteer Expert Network, is a nationwide network of retired medical specialists who donate peer-to-peer -peer recommendations on patient care. We primarily use e-consults, which are done through the secure email through the VC telemedicine system. But they also offer live teleconsultation appointments and continuing education sessions. Colmore is one of only three sites to receive this opportunity through the Virginia Association of Charitable Preclinics. The Diabetes Project is being managed by NovaScript Central, a charitable pharmacy which currently provides medication at no or low cost to most of our patients. The project is a pilot in which patients with diabetes and prediabetes will be offered education by pharmacists on how best to combine medications and lifestyle changes to reduce the risk of complications of disease. The project is funded by a generous grant from Kaiser Permanente. The Medical Society of Northern Virginia has revived its Physician Access of Northern Virginia PANV project to offer both live and remote consultations to our patients with member specialists in private practice. This will supplement our dependence on Innova specialists where access must first be obtained by application to Innova Charity Care. Now let me introduce Cinda Tipple, Chair of the Strategic Planning Committee. Cheers. Thank you, Dr. Schneiderman. We are so proud and excited about the work that the Young Professionals Committee is doing, and it's my pleasure to introduce you to Jasmine Williams, the Chair. Hello everyone, my name is Jasmine Williams. I have the honor of serving as the chair on the Young Professionals Committee here at Colmore Clinic where we work with the board and strategize on different things. Um, more recently, we've been working with the Strategic Planning Committee um, and we're also putting together a panel surrounding mental health in the Colmore Bailey's community. Um, now back to Annalise. Cheers! Cheers. Thank you so much, Jasmine and Cinda, who's the chair, of course, of our Strategic Planning Committee, and to all the members of the Young Professionals Committee. I am so excited to have this new committee on our board that are doing a lot now to reach out to the young professionals in the community and, and helping spread the news about the work that we do. In fact, our entire board is amazing. And I am so happy to have the support of dedicated board members that care about what we do. I have one of our new board members here with me, Philip Elliott, who 
came on board at the beginning of the year and also agreed to be our treasurer. So welcome and to our coffee at Colmore. Thank you. Thank you, Annalisa. Uh, as Annalisa said, it's been my pleasure to be the treasurer this year at Colmore. And one of the things that's impressed me most as I've gotten involved with Colmore is that for every dollar that we collect from donors in cash, we get almost three dollars from community support, whether that's volunteer interpreters, whether that's services, whether that's medical supplies. So every dollar that comes into us gets magnified by the, the work that comes from the community and the, and the donations from the community. It's just an amazing uh, uh, aspect of the clinic. It is, and I think it's a fact that very few people really know. But thanks to you, that's what keeps us going. And if you want to learn a little bit more about how you can support Calmer Clinic, let us hand you over to Daphne Papa Michael. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, Annalisa. I'm Daphne Papa Michael. I'm a member of the board at Calmer Clinic as well as the chair of the development committee. I'm really happy to be here today to talk to you a little bit about what we do here as far as development goes. No organization can exist without a strong development committee, and we are very fortunate here to have that. We're also very fortunate to have such generous donors who have supported us over the years. I'd like to share with you our poster here about our stewardship circles. And um, as you can see, it's the trees that are leaning against each other and supporting each other. And that's what you do if you join us as a steward. Um, one of our uh, stewardship levels is the breaking barrier circle and I'm just going to read to you what exactly that means. So if you join us, you, sh you recognize that financial assistance is so important to our patients to allow them to access medical care and all the other services that help them to lead long, healthy, productive lives in our community. These are our neighbors, so we really need you to support us here. So also our end of year campaign is coming up in about a month. So you'll be hearing from us about that. And also, anytime you can always reach out to our executive director, Annalisa Quinn, and talk with her and share with her some of your ideas about how you might want to support the clinic in a way that we haven't done yet. We're always, always anxious to hear from you because without you, we wouldn't be here. So thank you so much. And we're gonna go outside now to hear from some people. Thank you. On behalf of the board and the staff, of the small but mighty Comor Clinic. Thank you for joining us for Coffee at Comor. We hope you have a wonderful day and Cheers!